Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWork.com and today we're doing the review of the Lenovo ThinkPad Helix. The Helix is a dockable hybrid Windows 8 tablet slash um, laptop. Uh, so let's see how well this functions. So let's take a closer look at the Lenovo ThinkPad Helix. It's got this matted finish, which is uh, fingerprint unfriendly, as you can clearly see. And uh, if you've looked at our unboxing, we showed you some of the hardware uh, tour. You've got a rear uh, camera here. Uh, it's a five megapixel camera. Of course, you've got your digitizer pen, which actually is quite useful, especially in tablet mode. Now it comes with a keyboard dock, which gives you combined 10 hours of battery life. And this keyboard, I really love the keyboard. I love the keyboard, I love the trackpad. Very smooth, very easy to navigate to there. And uh, works very, very well. Uh, you can see if I just actually uh, move the camera a little bit, how it looks overall. It's very nice, it feels like you're carrying a laptop um, around with you. And um, let me just close this out. <clears throat> and you know you can also undock it and use it and it just feels very flush now um, the to actually use it as a tablet you need to release the tablet out of here by pressing this button on the left hand side which allows you to undock it and if I keep that aside just take a closer look at the keyboard so your keyboard has this, has this docking frame and there are a couple of ports here underneath that it docks with but you can see them here and you can actually turn the tablet into different ways now on the keyboard on the side there's really nothing there's an extra battery in here which gives you 10 hours combined battery life keyboard is actually the lighter part of both uh, devices or both parts of the helix now you've got a rapid charge plug which is great which allows you to charge very quickly you've got a usb port here no usb you've got a display port at the back and those are the ports you have literally four ports in total now Coming to our Helix, Helix of course is a little heavier, but you do have a slew of ports here at the back on the bottom. Now this is where all the ports are. Now this is something you may like or may not, may not like, and that, that depends on the user uh, yourself. So, you know, it depends there. But you do have on this side, um, you do have your micro SD port. You've got your rapid charge plug to charge this if you just took the tablet with you so you can charge the tablet. And think about the rapid charge port because this is a full Windows 8 tablet. You can, you, you can get up to an i7 processor with eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigabytes SSD. So you've got full-fledged Windows. You can do whatever you want uh, work-wise with this. And um, it works very well, very smooth and uh, it's something that I really like. Now, heading back to the ports and the speakers, the speaker grill is below here. Uh, you have the connector ports, one, there's another one here, and then you now have your display port, a USB port, and then you have uh, a port also for um, a, micro, a micro SIM here. So you do have the gambit of ports on the bottom here. Now, on the right-hand side, You've got your volume rocker, a lock button, and your 3.5 mm jack here. The top houses your power button, and of course your digitizer pen. Now, there's also a front-facing camera as well as a rear. So you do have a slew of functionality on here. Um, <clears throat> I believe this starts under $1,000, but I, I'm not sure, so I'll have the price listed below. Now, there are a couple of things that I don't like with it. I think what to me, uh, with this uh, this whole setup that is kind of funky, it's actually the tablet dock itself. While, while it's easy to dock and use, and you can flip it around, it's a little bit awkward. It's one of the things where I can't just literally go, oh, let me flip it around and use the cube, but I'll have to undock it and then flip it back to use. Now it's easy to undock and dock, so that's another problem. The good thing about it, it's very rugged, it's very solid. This is the ThinkPad, so you have something that if you dropped it, if you drop this, you would actually um, still have a very secure and solid um, tablet there. The mechanism is pretty tight, even though it's just a lock mechanism here. It's pretty tight and solid to make sure that your, your Helix actually functions uh, well. Now, as I said earlier, this is running an i7 processor, max i7 processor. You can also have an i5. You can also have up to eight gigabytes of memory and 256 SSD. Now, of course, in terms of graphics card, you're using the 
<coughs> the Intel HD 4000. But if you look, if this is a very, I, I like this because it's a very solid business tablet. My only gripe is the mechanism for the dock for the tablet where, where even though you can change ties, it's a little difficult for you to actually gauge uh, which way. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, round up this video. So we've spent some time with the ThinkPad Helix. I love the fact that it's a dockable device. You do have course of keyboard and you have your tablet separately you get 10 hours of battery life which is great with both of them combined now my issues and gripe of course are the dock itself because it's a little bit awkward you can dock it either way so I can actually flip it around and dock it backwards so I have the screen facing this way or I can detach this and dock it the other way but it's a little cumbersome and it's kind of weird, you know, it's, it's something where it takes some getting used to, to actually use. But what I do like, it's a, it's a very rigid, solid Windows 8 device. It's also priced competitively and priced well. I love the keyboard. I think the keyboard is fantastic. I think a lot of people will like the keyboard. The touchpad is great. You get the full ThinkPad um, family line of uh, compatibility you're used to. And I think it works out very well. Um, you know, hopefully in the next version of the Helix, uh, they will change the docking system a little bit so that also the ports are not all there below. But in, in terms of solid quality, comfort as in use, I, I really love it. I, I can't complain about the Helix. I think this is the right step. And Lenovo has shown with the devices they've made with the X1 Carbon, the Helix, uh, the, the Yoga line of products that they really have pushed Windows 8 to the line where it's fully functional, you can use it, and it works out pretty well for whatever things you want to do. So if you have any questions or any comments about the ThinkPad Helix, uh, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all Border Work with 2.0. So this is Thundee E saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.